CPR 180 Literary Practice Test. Ready? Here we go. For me, the best thing about the Super Bowl is that it means baseball starts in just a few weeks. Pitchers and catchers begin arriving at their spring training camps in mid-February. More than any other sport, baseball reveres the notion that all teams are equal at the start of the season, that this could be the year for any of them. Just ask a New York Mets fan. The Mets defeated the Dodgers during an amazing playoff run to reach the World Series, and although they fell to the Kansas City Royals, not a single one of ESPN's 15 experts or six writers from Sports Illustrated predicted that New York would even reach the postseason. All three Southern California teams, the San Diego Padres, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, and the Los Angeles Dodgers, train in the Phoenix area as part of the 15-team Cactus League. While the results don't count for much, preseason records often don't correlate well with regular season performance. Spring training offers fans player access that isn't possible after the opening bell rings. The best time to visit spring training depends on your fandom. Go in February for the best interaction with the players who may play in simulated games but are mostly running drills. Real games begin in March. Go early in the month to see the best prospects and battles for roster spots. Big league starters may only play a few innings in early games, often to be replaced by minor league prospects or other non-roster invitees. As the month progresses and the answers to roster questions reveal themselves, the games become more like the regular season as position players get more at-bats and starting pitchers throw more innings. There is a difference between good shape and baseball shape, says Dodgers infielder Justin Turner. Most players are in good shape all year long. I use spring training to get used to standing around for hours at a time. It's also a big part of develop developing the relationships with your teammates that you need to get through the season. Besides its proximity to Southern California, the Cactus League has an advantage over the Grapefruit League. Its Florida counterpart Cactus League stadiums are all within 50 miles of each other. Some teams in Florida are 200 miles apart, so there's greater flexibility for visitors to Arizona, plus more time to do other things or just relax by the pool before or after games. Renovated in 2015, the stadium pioneered the two-team concept when it opened in 1994. The Padres share the facility with the Seattle Mariners. Of the three SoCal team sites in Arizona, this is probably best in terms of proximity to hotels and dining. And while players tend to be good about signing during the spring, experts opine that the stadium's dedicated autograph alley in right field is a very rich spot for meeting your favorite star. Of the three SoCal team sites, the Angels is probably the most cramped simply because the stadium's architecture dates from 1969. Then again, it offers the closest fan proximity to the field. Visible traffic on Interstate 10 is reminiscent of the view of State Route 57 from the Anaheim Mothership. The game is the thing here, although it's easy to get distracted by the Rocky Buttes beyond left field. Parking $5, limited free street parking, arrive early garage parking in Tempe's Mill Avenue District is free if you take the free spring training trolley. Bring your parking stub along for validation. Capacity 9,600, tickets $15 to $58, home dugout first base. Shade and overhang shades the concourse around the stadium and might cover the upper three rows of seats. Seats. Depending on the time of day, not much respite from the sun. Otherwise, food, a hot dog is $6. Typical ballpark fare is available around the concourse. Food, food tents out by the left field berm offer chicken tenders, Mexican dishes, and barbecue from local restaurants. Nearby, a Marriott overlooks left field. The stadium is otherwise surrounded by office parks. Mill Avenue is the college town's main drag, so bars and restaurants are abundant. The Dodgers, a fixture in Vero Beach, Florida, for years commenced training here in 2009 in a facility they share with the Chicago White Sox. The stadium has a nice open setup with field views from anywhere along the 360-degree concourse. Because of the field's southeast orientation, it's more important to have a hat and sunscreen here than at other ballparks. Parking free but allow time for traffic, Californians should feel right at home. While the other lot beyond center field is distant, the walk from there past the training fields includes numerous monuments to the team's storied history in Brooklyn and Los Angeles. Capacity 13,500, tickets $7 to $59. 
home dugout, third base. White Sox home dugout is first base. Shade more on the first base side, but generally not much over the seating bowl, the elevated press box. Shades the concourse behind home plate completely, and fans gravitate there during games. There's also some shade under the scoreboard. Food, a Dodger dog is $5.50. All beef is $6, along with the usual ballpark fare. Some stands offer bacon burgers. And that will conclude our RPR 180 Literary Practice Test.